So one of the most frustrating things ever is when you launch your door, FL Studio, and you've got no sound. What we're gonna do today is go over systematically the different things it can be that causes it uh, and how you can fix it. So let's get rolling. So very first thing to do, right? If you're pressing play on your project or on a piece of audio, song mode, pattern mode. This is an absolute like beginner mistake, but right up here, we've got song mode and pattern mode. If we drop any old bit of audio, into here. If I press play now, we're playing, the time is going, it seems like it should be playing, but we're in pattern mode, it's trying to play this empty MIDI pattern just here. There's two things we can do, we can click up here into song mode or press L and it will switch us over. Open up any audio loop over here in the left hand side or wherever the hell you keep your browser, mine's on the left for today, uh, and just play it, right? We want to see it showing up in the master and in the current, so popping up in these two here like so. Now if we're not seeing that, if we select our master track, over here in the right hand corner, right at the very bottom, we've got output and it says output one and two. This can very easily have multiple outputs in it. As you've seen at the minute, mine says boom audio, stereo, output one and two. Boom audio is the way I reroute my sound to record these videos. Normally that's gonna say your audio interface. So for me, it would say my universal audio Apollo out one and two in normal circumstances. So you wanna make sure it's set to that. It's really easy for sometimes if it can't find your interface or it wasn't switched on when you started up FL, it will default to none uh, and you won't be able to have any output that is the number one cause so working systematically through it here if you open up this and you can't see your audio interface there is something else it can be so what we need to do from here is fly our way up into options bring it down to audio settings and right here we want the input output much like we had on the mixer but this is the settings for it okay so mine says boom audio like i said to record the videos if you click on this it will give you all of your different audio options and outputs that you have on your system virtual ones hardware that's added microphones that might be plugged in. So normally you want to make sure it's on your audio interface. So like I said, I'd have my universal audio Thunderbolt there selected. And once that's then selected down here in your mixer track with the master selected, you can have your output as output one and two. The reason it's important to do it on the master is you can send individual channels out. You'll see here if I select insert one, that does default to none, but I could send it out to one and two. Uh, and if I was to switch on the ADA interface I have just here, I can then send out to the other output outputs for example or if you've got multiple outs on your interface you can route things like that so make sure you do it on the master otherwise it's going to start doing some really funky routing for you the other thing is here say you've put a plugin in that's had to bump up the latency or your audio interface has had the incorrect buffer length set this might be cranked right the way up and it seems like you're getting nothing out because you've got uh, a 93 millisecond delay or whatever has been put in there you know in this case 40,000 samples we just want to bring that back down we want to do it in some kind of division of 16 the longer it is the easier it is for plugins to do their processing so that depends on your machine could be the other issue you've got there and one of the very last ones that can happen is let's say you've got a plugin on here i by default load up the uh, blank template it's just how i like to start however it is possible to have something on here like for example if we press this and grab the limiter um, you can very simply have like the gain all the way down on that and not know it's happened it seems like everything's working but you've got no audio input just switch off all the plugins find out if it's one of the plugins causing the issue or if a plugin's crashed, it will show that it's loaded. You try and open it and it doesn't show up. That's another reason that could stop it. But those are all of the most common reasons that you would have no audio in FL Studio. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that has fixed the solution for you. And thank you very much to DistroKid for sponsoring the channel. Today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. They let me get my music out to all of the major distributors and they do that at a price an independent artist can easily afford. If you're ready to get your music or beats out there and want to release an unlimited amount of music each year, check the link in the description below for a discount off of your first year of unlimited distribution with DistroKid.